Okay, in this video, we're gonna be doing number five from the 2024 Calc AB exam. Let's take a look. So consider the curve defined by the equation x squared plus three y plus two y squared equals 48. It can be shown that dy dx is negative two x over three plus four y, but we don't have to do that. They gave it to us. Uh, there is a point on the curve near two four with x coordinate three. Use the line tangent to the curve at 2, 4 to approximate the y coordinate of this point. This is kind of an interesting take on a tangent line question. We're just doing a tangent line. So we're going to find dy dx at the point 2, 4. Um, and so you're just plugging in. So it's going to be negative 2 times 2 over 3, time, uh, 3 plus 4 times 4. So that's negative 4 over 19. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the equation of the tangent line. So our tangent line... Um, is going to look like y minus 4 is equal to negative 4 over 19, and then the quantity x minus 2. And then what we'll do to figure out uh, the approximate y coordinate at x equals 3, we're going to find y of 3. So y of 3 is approximately 4 minus 4 over 19, and then the quantity 3 minus 2. You can leave that, and you should leave it. I can never leave well enough alone, so I use a calculator this year and I just got 72 over 19. You, you can't use a calculator on the exam though. You should leave it the way that it is. One time I made a mistake and uh, got a little bit roasted for it. So 72 over 19, but leave it as four minus four over 19, quantity three minus two. You could just leave it like that. All right, let's take a look at uh, the next one. Is the horizontal line y equals one tangent to the curve? Give a reason for your answer. Um, okay, so my first thought here is this is kind of a weird question. Uh, but a horizontal tangent line is going to require that dy dx equals zero, right? That's the only way uh, that you could have a horizontal tangent line. And if dy dx equals zero, the only way that's going to happen is if x is equal to zero. So that would mean that the ordered pair is zero, one, right? So I'm saying if x is zero and y is one, I want to just see, is there a point on the curve? So I'm plugging into our, our curve. I'm doing x squared plus 3 times the y plus 2 times the y squared, does it equal 48? There's no way that equals 48, right? So that means that the point um, 0, 1 doesn't exist on the curve. There is no point on the curve where y equals 1 is tangent. Um, that, I think, is a valid answer to this. Alternatively, um, I think what you could do is you could say, well, um, if y equals 1, what does x have to equal, right? So if y is 1, then uh, we would have x squared plus uh, 3 plus 2, so plus 5, equals 48, which would mean x is plus or minus root 43. And then let's just look at the slope at those. So if we do dy dx such that the ordered pair 43, root 43 comma 1, uh, there's no way that that slope is 0, right? So not a horizontal tangent line there. And then similarly, if we did that negative root 43 comma 1, the slope is not zero, so not a tangent line there. Um, so we can say y equals one is not tangent to the curve. I think either of those approaches is totally fine, answers the question. Uh, let's look at the next part. So the curve intersects the positive x-axis at the point root 48, zero. Is the line tangent to the curve at this point vertical? Give a reason for your answer. I think this is a weird question. <laughs> like, I think that this FRQ overall is kind of weird. Um, I mean, I'm just going to find the slope at that point. So dy dx uh, at the point root 48, 0 uh, is going to give us negative 2 root 48 over 3 plus 0, whatever. Uh, this is not undefined. So I'm just going to say, which is not undefined. Because if you have a vertical tangent line, the slope would have to be undefined. So since this is not undefined, uh, the tangent at root 48, 0 is not vertical. And I think that that answers the question. Not really sure what they're getting at in parts B and C here, other than like, can you plug in and think about implicit relationships, I guess. So, I mean, it's good. They're good questions. They're just weird. Uh, let's look at the next part. Totally unrelated. Um, for time t greater than or equal to zero, I'm not kidding when I say totally unrelated. It's an entirely different equation and different problem, basically. A particle is moving along another curve defined by the equation y cubed plus 2xy equals 24. At the instant the particle is at 4, 2, the y coordinate of the particle's position is decreasing at a rate of 2 units per second. So decreasing is negative 2 units per second. At that instant, what is the rate of change of the x coordinate of the particle's position with respect to time? 
So this is actually like a related rates question. Um, so we know that dy dt is negative two units per second. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the relationship. We have y cubed plus two xy equals 24. We're gonna find the derivative of both sides with respect to t. So d dt of this side equals d dt of this side. Don't forget the derivative of a constant is zero. Most common mistake I see people make um, is to forget that fact. So here, everything is with respect to time. So every variable you see is actually a function of time. So like the derivative of y is dy dt, the derivative of x is dx dt. Slightly more complicated. So we'll get 3y squared dy dt plus, now I'm going to do first derivative of the second. So it's 2x times dy dt plus second, which is y, times derivative of the first is 2 dx dt. If you forgot that part, you just wouldn't have a dx dt in your problem at all, and you would definitely know that something had gone wrong. Uh, this equals zero. Now we just got to do a lot of arithmetic, I think. Um, so I'm going to say at the point 4, 2, so x is 4, y is 2, we know that dy dt is negative 2, so we're plugging in. So we're going to have 3, uh, 2 squared, and then dy dt is negative 2, 2 times 4, dy dt is negative 2, and then we have 2 for y, we have 2 that's there, dx dt is what we want to solve for, equals 0. Uh, we can kind of clean this up, get negative 24 minus 16 plus 4 dx dt is equal to 0. So that's uh, 4 dx dt is 40, and therefore dx dt is going to be 10, and then I think we should say units per second. It doesn't ask for units though, so you don't need to put them. Um, but there you go. That's the entire question. I hope this was helpful and good luck.